So, we are out for the Kalispell Tribe's um, cougar harassment study again today. We are trying to locate this cat. We got him in an area that we've been making a circle around, but his electronic collar won't turn on to give us his exact location, so we're thinking he might be in a cave or something somewhere. Uh, we kind of got a basic idea where he's at, but we're trying to narrow it down. It's kind of one of them days. <laughs> now they're having trouble finding him. If we can find him, we're going to tree him, tranquilize him, and take his collar off today. It'll be the last day we harass him. So I get a pet the kitty too. All right. So after a whole lot of work, Finally got the cat located, got his collar to turn on. He's in a hole in, in the middle of nowhere. So we are proceeding to where he's at. We're about half a mile from him now. So this cat's on the move right now. We're waiting for him to uh, stop again. But uh, he ran right past the other truck. <laughs> with those two dogs in it. Luckily, they're inside the dog box and with the closed yep. canopy. <laughs> oh, dogs are on him. All right, we drove up. Dogs have them treed up. I don't know, quarter mile. Uh, less than a quarter mile up in the bushes up here. Messy one. Well, we're gonna trank this cat this time, so we got trank guns. <laughs> and gear to catch the cat. <laughs> Get close. Shut up. Another drug for me. That's good, yeah, that's good. If you start keeping yeah, right there. What's that? Yeah. 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 Come on down, buddy. Easy does it, easy does it. Yeah, easy does it. Keep down. Good. Good. All right, well, he's down. We're still letting, giving him some time to let the uh, sedative fully take place, but he had a nice soft landing. And uh, we'll get that collar moved off of him. Take a good look at him.
Wait, this antenna's completely gone, isn't it? It's gone. Yeah, I ripped it right out. I bet he chewed it off just like he did the last one. I got tired of us finding him. <laughs> yeah. Sabotage. He did find a deer overnight, didn't he? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. He bit that sucker clean off. Yeah. Unbelievable. So I found one. Good to meet you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, been, and thank you for not eating my pigs all the times you've been at my house. <laughs> hey, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. You gave us a lot of great data. It was good to meet you. Thank you for not eating my pigs. We appreciate that. Your collar's off, and you are free to go now. Guys, this is the big one. That's the one he was hanging on with. <laughs> yeah, that's a strong yeah, one. That's the one he got in the tree up there, and I thought, man, that thing's not going to come out. Oh, they are, they are big. A lot of power there. Yeah. <clears throat> come around this side, you can see that. Three lobes on the bottom. Yeah. It's just real clear. Big old round toes look like grapes. Yeah. So we're reversing the uh sedatives so we can go back on his happy kitty way I guess I'll put that in my He's gone. And off we go. Gotta get to work now. <laughs> so, now you may be asking yourself, that was all cool, but what was the point of all that? Well, in Oregon and Washington, Washington specifically, since 2019, when legislative changes based on public opinion rather than science were put into place, for Washington's cougar management uh, program, the cougar, the cougar population has exploded. And so what we're seeing now as a result is we're, we're seeing more negative encounters between uh, cougars and people. Um, heck, that's a couple of weeks ago, there was a, a young nine-year-old girl that was attacked and severely injured by a cougar. Um, now, I'm a hunter, I'm a conservationist, I'm a farmer, I'm an animal lover, um, but I also understand that there is a balance that needs to be maintained between predator, or predators and, uh, and humans. And without all of the tools at our disposal to help manage and, um, and dissuade predators from encroaching upon human establishments, we're kind of left with nothing. The, the, the current model for dealing with predators is to do nothing until they become a problem and then kill them. And that's led to about 60 to 70 cougars per year being killed and just dumped in the state of Washington. This program developed by Bart George uh, and being exercised by uh, Bart, 
Bruce Duncan and Jeff Flood, uh, with the backing of the Kalispell tribe, is looking for another way to deal with these predators. Where by harass harassing them, hazing them, if you will, basically giving them negative human contacts that don't involve killing them so that these animals understand again that humans you shouldn't they shouldn't get comfortable around humans since 2019 when the laws changed regarding the pursuit of cougars um, it's been about four generations of, c of cats now the the lionesses are not teaching their children their 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 cubs to avoid houses dogs that once were something for them to fear are now a dinner bell and that's what we're finding and in, in, in one case um the dog actually came back killed and ate not just killed but killed and ate four or five dogs at one person's house before they were able to catch up with it and euthanize it um, so the model that's work that, that we've been working with now isn't working because there is a lot of senseless death of of domestic pets and 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 livestock, as well as the cougars. Like even as a hunter, I don't want to see them out of our ecosystem, and I don't want to see animals needlessly killed. And uh, this program to help condition them to avoid humans is another way forward the cat we were we took the collar off today a c68 is his designator um, when they first collared him they got some control data from him and the first time they approached him uh, he let them walk within about 100 yards the next time he let them walk within about 40 yards the, time, the last time that they did that, he let them walk within 11 yards of him. So having those interactions or, or contacts with people was having the reverse effect. It was telling him it was safe, that nothing was happening. He was getting positive reinforcement with those human contacts because of the fact that nothing bad happened when he was around humans. And that's the case with uh, most of the cats in the forest now. It's really not uncommon at all now for a cougar to let people walk within 20 feet of them. You may never see them, but they will let you walk with them and there. Now, cougar isn't, a, 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 isn't a particularly dangerous animal to humans. They're not human aggressive. Uh, and so generally when they sneak off, they get around the person and get away from the person. But for those times when we have these cats that are hungry, that are not doing well for themselves, that are sick or hurt, that have no other option than to prey on a slow human, then we'll see them emboldened by the, the fact that they've not had any negative human contacts. So this is, this program is to reverse that. After this with C68, after they started actually hazing him, uh, I was involved with three times going out with the cat. The first time that I went out with them, uh, C-68 fled his bed at about 60 yards from us while we were walking in, playing the meat eater <laughs> uh, um, YouTube show on a loudspeaker. And he ran about 65 yards and stopped. The second time we did it, he spooked at 20, 122 yards and ran 340 yards before he stopped. And the third time today, he spooked and left the area at 220 yards. He's showing a marketable increase in his sensitivity to human pressure and human activity and human being around humans. So basically 220 yards he hears a person he takes off and gets and, and starts evading and getting away and getting out of the area and over time he's really willing to use more and more effort to do it instead of 60 yards it was 300 and 340 yards and then today he ran a considerable distance i don't have the exact measurement but he's he's doesn't want to be around humans because he's associated that 
being around humans with the negative reinforcement of uh, being chased up a tree by dogs. And he's left no harm for the wear, but, uh, but a better cat. And quite frankly, he is my neighbor. He's been on my property. He crosses my property. He circles my property. My property is really the center of his range. And now I'm happy to have him as a neighbor. <laughs> oh, in closing, I, I applaud the effort. I love what they're doing here. It's something different. It's something that is proactive. It's something that will address the concerns of the community, of farmers and ranchers, of the, uh, fish and wildlife. Like, it's a great program. It's a great alternative to just killing. And nobody wants that. Even as hunters, I don't want that. I don't want 60 plus cats killed because we failed to set up a boundary and we failed them and showing them that it's not safe to be around us. So I'm all for this program. I'm fully supportive and if there's any time I can go out and uh, assist Bart, Bruce, Jeff, uh, or the Kalispell tribe, I'm all for it. Thanks for watching.